So it's like, I don't know, seven o'clock. We're all unloaded for the most part. We had to take them up to the Ferris farm and then we got two of our pallets in here. Third one is for the Wakefield farm. And then these two are one each for my brother-in-laws. So we almost didn't make it back coming up over Menden Mountain. Right near the top, the truck went into reduced power. And I literally couldn't make it over the top of the mountain. So I had to stop. I put it in four-wheel drive, low range. And I got up to the top by the inn up there. I'm going to check the cow speed here. And uh, let it sit there. The check engine light come on. I was low on death fluid, so I don't know if that had something to do with it or not. Because I was going uphill. Or what? We got a, we cleaned the barn the other day and pour cement in here. We never got to it last year. And look at that wrench that was in the manure, I guess. Really clean this out today. So we got to pour cement in here in this trench right here. Could make a gutter out of it, be like a gutter of a barn. But we're going to fill that in with cement and then we're going to. Put about four or five inches in here in the feed alley. Bring that up a little bit because it's kind of backwards. This area here is higher than it is in there because they used to stand in this side over here and eat. We used to put the hay over here. That's why I had these headlocks leaning this way. But we've kind of reversed it. So we're gonna pour like four or five inches of cement and bring it up to that level of the cement way on the end by the gate there. That way it'll be higher than where they're standing. So I guess the cows, these cows are all going to get preg checked tomorrow. So that's why they haven't gone to pasture yet. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with them, if they're going to be beef or if they're going to stay on the farm. So they got hay enough, I guess. So anyways, I let it sit there on top of Mendon Mountain for, I don't know, five minutes. And then I cruised down over the other side and I weren't sure if I was going to make it home. And I did. Didn't feel like it had the power it should have, but check engine light came on. But I got here, put def in it. And then, uh, I don't know, I think those check engine lights, once the ski is cycled three times, and uh, like truck shut off, turned on, shut off, turned on. And it doesn't get the same engine warning. It shuts the check engine light off so anyways stupid diesel trucks nowadays they're so complicated that they're junk this one's got like 115 16,000 miles on it absolutely paid it so they bought it brand new it's good when they run but anyways so we'll go on and bring this trailer back and that's it and tomorrow we got to go get our other mower because we don't like that new mower we're going to get a different new mower so anyways that's where we're at my truck's a disaster